Hi there, you're in the lab with your mate JJ. Today we're going to keep on with our Sensor Robot 20, uh, which is our Maxitronics 20 in 1 project lab. Uh, we'll be building the uh, speech conductor, which is uh, <clears throat> a project that detects uh, audio volume and uh, turns controls a, 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 a buzzer. Um, when the when the when the when the volume goes high, the buzzer goes off. If it gets quiet, the buzzer goes on. Um, so we'll be putting that together here over in the booth after we've had a look at the instructions, which will be on the computer. So let's go have a look at the instructions, then we'll go over and build the thing in the booth, and then we'll take it over to the bench and have a look at how it behaves. Here we are on the computer. So uh, <coughs> let's. Uh, open up our web browser here and let's go and find our instructions uh, this is uh, the Maxitronics 20 in 1 project 10 of 20 the speech conductor what it does if you are called upon to make a speech you can use your sensor robot to help you practice projecting your voice when you finish the wiring turn the control knob until the buzzer just begins to sound then speak into the microphone if your voice is not loud enough the buzzer continues to sound as you speak louder the buzzer stops your sensor robot helps you to become a forceful speaker. How it works. If you speak quietly, the voltage of the base of transistor Q1 remains low and Q1 stays off. This is Q1 and this is the base of Q1. And when we're talking quietly into the microphone, there's uh, only a weak signal that comes out of the amplifier and into the base of Q1. Um, so when we talk quietly, the amplifier doesn't amplify much and there's not much signal coming through so it doesn't turn on Q1. Um, as, uh, as current Q1, is, as, uh, when Q1 is not on, then uh, current can flow through here into the base of, of Q2, which allows uh, 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 Q2 to go on. Can, can, can flows to the base of Q2 through the 1 kilo ohm and 30, that's the 1 kilo ohm and the 33 kilo ohm resistors, and then Q5 turns on. Okay, and now Q5, uh, uh, okay, and Q5 is there. The output of the A stable multi, uh, the output of the A stable multi vibrator goes to the base of Q5. So this is the A stable multi vibrator, and an A stable multi vibrator will just flip between states. That's what it does. So it just pulses. It's just switch, 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 which creates a square square wave as its output uh, over here into the base of Q5. So when Q5's on, there's a um, there's a, a, a pulse that comes through uh, the um, the uh, the speaker, the piezo electro buzzer, um, and that and that square wave from the A stable multi vibrator when Q5 is on um, will create a tone on the buzzer. Um, so if you want to stop the tone, you just stop Q5, and if you stop Q5, the buzzer will stop, uh, even though the A stable multi vibrator is still going. So um, that, that A-stable multi-vibrator, by the way, just starts and keeps going forever. And it's always switching between states and creating the tone, even when the tone's not actually being applied to the, uh, to the, to the speaker. Uh, uh, the output of the A-stable multi-vibrator goes to the base of Q5, and the transistor keeps turning on and off. This transistor keeps turning on and off. Because Q2 is on, which is down here, Q2 is on, uh, current flows to the one kilo ohm resistor connected to the collector of Q5. Now this is the, the one kilo ohm resistor connected to the collector of Q5. Um, but only at certain frequencies. Uh, the voltage is a square wave shaped on both sides of the resistor. <coughs> so the buzzer sounds. Uh, if you speak loudly, Q1 is turned on and Q2 is off. This is Q1, you make a loud noise, it comes into the base here, it switches Q1 on, which is effectively switches Q2 off. Uh, when Q2, and then the output of the multivibrator goes to the base of Q5. Um, <coughs> But as Q2 is turned off, uh, no current flows to the one kilo ohm resistor and the buzzer remains silent. There you go. So um, 
that's our speech conductor circuit. Let's uh, jump over to the booth and put it together. And once that's done, we'll take it over to the bench and we'll have a look at it. Here we are in the booth. So uh, let's put this thing together. So that's it, we're done. We've got all the wiring done. Um, I'm gonna pop you over to the bench now and let's have a look at how this thing behaves when it's all powered up. Here we are on the bench. And this, uh, unfortunately, is uh, one of our um, noisy projects. In order to make it work, we need to make noise. Uh, now, I haven't put power on this thing yet. So uh, I guess I should do that. Let's power up uh, ride number one. Uh, let me see if I can show you that. Uh, uh, what are we looking for here? There we go, I think we had it there. And we just flip him around. And is that right? Uh, we just need to uh, to rotate the uh, things. Let's go transform, uh, flip, horizontal. Yes, perfect. Now, if I just flip you over there, you'll be able to see the output of Rudden 1. Uh, this is my power supply. So we don't want to short those leads there. That would uh, not be good fun. Just be careful of that. So let's run the uh, power this way and this way. Oh. And there we have our power. Now um, let's put uh, negative here and positive here. Just show you, show you that again just wired the power in up here in the in the corner so uh, let's set this guy at uh, 9 volts I think we want so uh, voltage set uh, 9 uh, enter nope that was wrong uh, voltage set 9 enter there we go and we've got the current set at maximum 1 amp which should be heaps um, <coughs> and uh, we should be able to turn this guy on and off here. So I'll just uh, turn the control knob off uh, there. So, uh, all right, let me throw the, uh, the voltage on. There we go, we're on. And now let's turn this on and bang the, uh, the tone sounds. Now, apparently, if we make enough noise, the, uh, the tone will stop sounding. Um, and of course, I've forgotten to wire in our microphone. So we won't be able to make much noise without a microphone. This is the microphone. And these are the terminals for the microphone. I wonder if those are... Uh, um, <sighs> banana plug capable, what do you reckon? Yeah, pretty much. These banana plugs are kind of terrible. I should, uh, I should fix that. Should we fix that? We could fix that together right now, couldn't we? What are we going to do? We're going to take a little segue out of this and make a cable. Yeah, sure. Let's make a cable. I've got a old trusty over here, wire trimmer. 
Now this I'd say is, uh, yeah, 26 gauge, that could be about right. Let's try that. So uh, in we go for 26, about 10 mil. That's about right. There we go. And we'll do the same on the other side. At 26 gauge, about 10 mil. Looks pretty good to me. All right, we can put this guy back. And uh, let's uh, just twist these guys together. There we go. And twist these guys together as well. All right, so we'll twist them and then we'll tin them and then we'll use the screw terminals to give them a good solid uh, mechanical connection and hopefully uh, our, our microphone will be more effective when we've done that. Now there's a bit of solder here still that we need. All right. Now I think I might use my uh, third hand for this job. Hold him down here. All right. So we'll heat this guy up a bit and then dump some solar on there. Looks fairly good to me. And let's just switch the wires around so we can do the other one. Go and then a little bit of heat and a little bit of tinning. Very nice. Now, should be done with the soldering iron there, so we'll just switch him off and we'll pair him off down there as well. We can put our third hand away. Now, let's try uh, screwing this guy into with the screw terminals on the thing. So, there's one, just pop him up and pop him in and screw him up. There we go, that made good mechanical contact. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And screw him down, no, he fell out. There we go. that might be better let's see so we'll uh, turn him on and then we'll tap 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 if I speak loudly if I speak loudly will that turn it off no nah, voice doesn't seem to do it but if you make a tapping noise you can turn it off. So I suppose uh, the other thing we might do, um, there's not really much to see, uh, I think, on this circuit, um, but we might be able to get the audio frequency of the uh, of the A-stable multivibrator, which is making the tone. And we should be able to see that it's a square wave. So let's, let's see if we can do that. 
So we're going to need a probe, and we've got one, this probe here. It's set at uh, 10 times. I keep it set at 10 times because I got told that was the way to do it. Now, what are we going to have a look at? I guess we could just put it across the uh, the buzzer, the piezo buzzer. So which side of that is negative? I suppose it doesn't matter much. There's that and uh, that. All right. Now I'll, uh, I'll put you on, on to the scope. There we go. I need to put the HDMI on. So that's utility IO HDMI on. All right, and I'll throw you over there. Now you can see the HDMI. So if we turn this on and then auto calibrate, and then uh, can we press, oh, we'll, we'll take number channel two off. We don't need channel two. Um, and we'll hit auto calibrate again, and then we'll hit stop and we'll hit off. And there we go. So that's a sample of our um, square wave. Let me just uh, put this uh, cable away. So, can I show you anything more about this wave? What about if we... Uh, oh, it's about right. Can we change the... Uh, oh, that's the trigger. There we go. Oh, it didn't keep the history. It only kept what was on the screen. Fascinating. All right. Well, let's run it again. And let's let it make some noise. And there we go. And uh, turn him off. All right. Now, it's set at uh, 200 millivolts. How do we get the frequency? What about if we click utility? Uh, no. Uh, measure. Uh, counter frequency <coughs> uh, enter okay and then we'll close the menu and we'll move him down there and then uh, turn that off again and there we go and run and stop oh I see so it uh, it only shows you the frequency while it's making the noise so it's uh, 1.5 kilohertz. There you go. 1.5 kilohertz tone. I don't know that there's much else to see. Um, I didn't have the uh, thermal cam on, but there's probably not much thermal interest in this circuit. I suppose we could have a look and see. Uh, um, about the, the heat of the integrated circuit. That's a possibility, I guess. So let me uh, let me fire up the thermal cam here, and we'll have a look at it uh, and just see what it's doing. <clears throat> now, I will need to go out and come back, so just uh, bear with me for a second. I'll be back in a second. Here we are back on the bench, and I'm sorry for the loud wailing, but you see the uh, the purple um, uh, um, uh, the purple uh, uh, probe on the scope is measuring the um, the sine wave that's actually coming across the buzzer, but the uh, the yellow one is actually showing the uh, the A stable multi vibrator, and you can see even when we make a big racket on the microphone, which turns off the uh, <coughs> when it turns off the um, uh, the, the, the tone and it goes quiet. You can see it go quiet when the purple flat lines like it is now um, But you see that the uh, the scope uh, on sorry the probe on on yellow um, actually shows you that the um, the, uh, the, the 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 a stable multi vibrator just continually flips between states so uh, it's it's not that the buzzer really stops it's just that the buzzer stops getting connected to the uh, to to the to the uh, speaker the piezoelectro element
So um, I just wanted to make that point there that the, the A-stable multivibrator you can see just continues to operate um, and, and it's, uh, it's the, it's the uh, Q, uh, uh, Q1 which controls Q2 which either enables or disables uh, the, the circuit. So I just thought I'd, I'd clarify that and show you um, the, the two uh, probes at the same time, one measuring the speaker itself and the other one measuring the, 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 the behavior of the A-stable multivibrator. Okay, we're back and we've got the uh, thermal cam in operation there. So uh, let's turn this thing on and see if we can see any uh, heat activity while it's making its noise. <clears throat> Is that the integrated circuit heating up? I'm not sure. What's this? Hard to say. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't see anything getting particularly warm. Uh, what is this? This? I'm not sure. Anyway, nothing particularly interesting to see there on the thermal cam. Uh, I think that concludes this project. I'm going to run you over to the uh, farewell cam and we'll wrap this up. And that's a wrap. So um, uh, we, uh, we put our circuit together. It was uh, uh, pretty easy to understand. It uses two transistors to turn an A-stable multivibrator signal on and off. Um, it uses the amplifier to amplify the tone from the microphone. Um, we messed around uh, uh, making uh, the cable with banana plugs. I'm going to cut that out of this video so you won't see that. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, when, when we uh, tapped on the microphone, that created enough noise for the circuit to engage and turn itself off. Voice alone didn't seem to be loud enough, and I. I mean, I don't want to start yelling at the thing. I spoke fairly forcefully into it. It didn't seem to work, um, but uh, tapping it did work. So uh, yeah, that's the basic idea. Uh, it's trying to uh, give you some uh, experience with uh, amplification and some experience with uh, transistor switching. So that's what that was all about today. Um, I'm not sure. I, I'd be happy to hear from you uh, 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 if you'd like to have uh, the circuit done in time lapse, or if you'd like me to narrate the the build of the circuit, um, or if you wanted to see both and have an option of watching the build or uh, skipping it with a time lapse. Um, for this video, I think I'm just going to time lapse the build. Um, but if there's any demand for the narrated uh, build, I do actually narrate it, so it's. Uh, uh, possible for me to make one or the other or both uh, if you have any preferences feel free to let me know um, and that that concludes this video I'm going to get a couple more of these Maxitronic kits done uh, so they'll be coming out over the next couple of days and uh, as soon as I can get my uh, 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 TFT display uh, replaced uh, at JCAR I'll be able to get on with the mini project which I'm the inaugural JCAR mini project which I'm looking forward to releasing soon Anyway, that concludes this video. Thanks very much for watching, and please remember to hit like and subscribe.